welcome to the benchmark it's me Dan um, so today is going to be a two-day kind of feature so I'm going to record this over a couple of days and it's about the stock suspension on the 35d what can I say about the stock suspension on the 35d it's incredibly soft and incredibly high so I complained about it before they they give you incredibly high ride height on the X drive only on the X drive so only on the four wheel drive not on a two wheel drive and of course the 35D only comes in four wheel drive so you end up getting a suspension that's like this I mean okay I'm exaggerating a bit it's like that high from the wheel it's I'll cut in uh, some footage you see what I mean it is ridiculous um, and it makes the car feel very unsettled because it just bounces around a lot um, it still handles quite well but you just know that it's, there's so much more there. Um, I heard that the dampers are actually fairly decent. It, it's just the springs. The springs are soft and they are high. So let's fix it. Now, most people, they go with the ACS, uh, AC Schnitzer spring kit. Um, and there's no problem with that, it's decent. However, it's incredibly expensive very expensive um, and the funny thing is AC Schnitzer don't make them iBark make them so why not just buy iBark it's the same springs um, I've managed to pick up a set of iBarks for my identical twins 35D um, for about £135 uh, plus delivery which is like a tenner it came within two or three days from Germany so about 150 quid delivered I'll link to it below I'm not making any money off that I'll just share the link so other people can benefit and they do exactly the same thing they lower the car but they also they're a bit stiffer so it handles a bit better more like an M Sport car should they're not too stiff they're not too soft um, and they just lower the ride height enough. Now, there's benefits to having a lower ride height. Um, miles per gallon improves because the aerodynamics of the car are better. Uh, I mean, we're talking like points of a percent here, but I mean, there is a benefit to be had. Um, and then, of course, aesthetic aesthetically, the looks of the car are going to be much better. So, you get better handling, better fuel economy, and the car looks better. It's a win, win, win triple win. Anyway, to um, show you how terrible <laughs> the, uh, the standard suspension is, I'm going to um, launch the car and show you from the outside with the wonders of Adobe right now how soft and how bad it is. It's like a 70s Cadillac, honestly. Have a look. magic of editing you're back again so as you can see it's pretty bad um, I haven't had a car with such soft suspension in many years look as much as I criticize it it's very comfortable and it's good at what it does however it has no business being on this car and I've moaned about that before and BMW if you're watching this look you make great cars but that was a screw-up that was a big screw up. You shouldn't have done that. You should not have put the suspension on this car. So I'm going to fix it. So that's before. And again, with the magic of editing, we are now going to go to where it's been fitted, watch it get fitted, and then we'll, uh, we'll do an after. So these look identical to the ACS springs. Absolutely identical. Um, don't know if you can see that. I 
These are designed for the 35D uh, saloon, so specific to the car. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. I got them from Germany and I used a uh, fee-free credit card to get them. Um, let's install them, shall we? Okay, so let's have a look at the difference between the standard springs. So, this is the standard front spring, and this is the eye bar. So you can see there's quite a difference there. Can you see that? These things are massive. Okay, so this is Lee, and he's going to be installing the uh, springs on the front. Go for it. Because now you're feeling the pressure for yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make it insta famously. <laughs> You'd be quitting your job. <laughs> Okay, so I have just left from getting the springs put on and I, I, I haven't driven it, so I, I'm literally pulling out right now. Um, instantly, I feel lower. <laughs> it's only a little bit, it's a tiny little bit lower, but I feel lower, which is nice. I don't, I don't feel like I'm on stilts anymore. My God, this car was so high. Okay, let's body roll. Ha! Let's, so instantly, the first corner I've taken, it, it, it feels a bit, it needs an alignment. I can feel that straight away. Um, it feels a bit more taut. It doesn't bounce around. Less body roll. That's good. Yeah, let me drive around in this for a little bit, you know, for another day or two. And then I'll give a better, a more informed opinion. So you join me after four days of um, settling the springs in. I, I've driven loads of places. I've, I've done motorway. I've done B roads, A roads, and I also did a very special Dan way of settling the springs. Top secret, but you know what? I'm a nice guy. I'm going to share it with you. So uh, it's, a, it's a very special way to get those springs to settle in extra quick. Um, as you can see, there I am using that very special method. So after, uh, I don't know, about 100 miles mixed driving and my specialist way of settling the springs, um, they're pretty much settled now. I haven't had the alignment done and I can feel it, especially on turning. So like I mentioned when I first had them installed, the car feels lower. It does feel lower. Even though, if you look at it, it's hardly, it's not that low. It looks like a factory car. Um, it just shows how bloody high it was. It was ridiculous. So the car feels lower, which is nice. Um, it doesn't feel as floaty. Um, it makes the car feel faster. Um, and I think that's because there's less movement. It doesn't do this whole boat motion whenever you put your foot down. Um, it just kind of goes. I mean, it still moves, but just not as much as it did. And there's a really nice RS6 right there. Um, comfort. It has changed, okay? So, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? It was very floaty and soft before and very comfortable. More like a 7 Series or a 5 Series would be. Um, now, it's stiffer. It is stiffer. Um, and you've lost some of that floaty comfort. So when you hit a bump, yeah, it's a little bit firmer, but still very, very comfortable. Um, 
so yeah if you like that softness then maybe don't do this because you you lose some of that you lose a little bit of that comfort um, but then it, it, it just have more confidence driving the car fast I don't feel when I'm at speed and I'm making a quick change of direction I don't feel like I'm gonna bloody die which is how <laughs> okay I'm exaggerating but it did feel ugh, I didn't feel very confident um, going around this corner now there's less body roll dramatically so there's a lot less body roll all right let's try and put some sense to all this so less body roll a little bit firmer less of the whole boat movement when you take off so it feels faster like that um, so those are positives right and it feels more sporty because it's lower which is nice so all in 150 quid delivered for the springs and then it was about 200 and oh, low 200s for the install and it took about two to three hours yeah just about just under 400 pounds you can have the suspension completely fixed done that's it done uh, which is almost the same price as just the springs alone on the ac schnitzer um, if you want to go low low and you're into the whole scene thing you don't care about handling then don't bother this upgrade just go and get h and r springs they're even lower really uncomfortable um, if that's what you want but if you're a proper driver and you like a car to handle well um, you like a little bit of excitement a little bit of fizz in that steering then th this is definitely an upgrade worth doing it will, it will turn that frown upside down it'll make you feel much happier about the car um, it'll feel faster it'll take off better it, it, it just improves the car in every single way just you, you lose a little bit of that comfort and I really mean it's just a little bit There's, I couldn't care it really isn't that bad at all it's still very very comfortable it's just in comparison to how it was before but yeah it's not as soft so yeah that, that it's a win this is a very good upgrade very good upgrade um, and I'm sure the springs will settle some more as time goes on I'm gonna do some uh, some driving on some country roads once I get to the bloody country when I'm out of London so here we are on some country roads in the middle of Essex I think and um, well, let's go for a little drive there are some drastic differences to standard it is a completely different car it is as if I've got into another 3 series it's completely changed the game completely so these Ibach springs have turned it into an M Sport. It's much more taut. It's I feel more control. I can feel more through the steering wheel. I'm uh, really quite happy. Really happy. It's pretty impressive what it's done. I can feel little crevices, and I couldn't feel that before. It was so floaty and so soft. Uh, this didn't exist. It's a very very different car delighted with it I don't think it needs anything else this, this is it this is all you need you don't need anti-roll bars because it rolls less it roll it the roll it has now is perfectly acceptable so I won't bother putting anti-roll bars on it I think the only only possible upgrade now would be tires put some Michelins on it jobs are good and that's it done you have yourself a very capable car so yeah i'm very happy with this if you're uh, on the fence don't be just do it just do it it's, it's not a huge amount of money i've uh, i've experimented and it's been a success those eye barks do the job they're great they really are um again if you want it lower you can get h and r but i hear the ride comfort's terrible with this it's great it's a great compromise Comfort's still absolutely acceptable. Uh, road noise is the same. It's just it, from a performance point of view, you've got more steering feel. It feels more taut, more you feel more confident driving it around. Even on the motorway, I, I felt more stable going high speed. It's very, very good. Um, I'll be looking forward to a track day or the Nurburgring once I get the tyres changed. So uh, yeah, success. Hi, Bark. Yeah, good job. Really happy. 
And now look, a roundabout. So thanks for watching, um, don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe, and, uh, and give me a thumbs up. Okay guys, take care, bye.